afternoon of laying out my plan to ensure that the United States will be the crypto capital of the planet and the Bitcoin superpower of the world. And we'll get it done. If crypto is going to define the future, I want to be mined, minted, and made in the USA. It's going to be. It's not going to be made anywhere else. And if Bitcoin is going to the moon, as we say, it's going to the moon, I want America to be the nation that leads the way. And that's what's going to happen. I pledge to the Bitcoin community that the day I take the oath of office, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris's anti-crypto crusade will be over. It will end. It'll be done. It'll be done. On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. before you today filled with respect and admiration for what the Bitcoin community has achieved. It's incredible, actually. I sort of say to my sons, it's like incredible because they know so much about it. It's so They're so aware of it, much more so than people that are a little bit older. But I say this is the steel industry of 100 years ago. It really is. I think you're just in your infancy. I can see it happening. In just 15 years, Bitcoin has gone from merely an idea posted anonymously on an internet message board to being the ninth most valuable asset anywhere in the world. Can you believe that? Is that right? That's a big deal. Think of that. It's already bigger than ExxonMobil. Soon it will be surpassing the entire market cap of silver. It's not bad. How about gold? How about gold? Let's go gold. And one day it probably will overtake gold, but based on the way it's going now, it could very well be a possibility. There's never been anything like it. And I don't think you've ever seen anything like it. And most people have no idea what the hell it is. You know that, right? So what happens when they figure it out? That's going to really be something. Bitcoin is not just a marvel of technology. As you know, it's a miracle of cooperation and human achievement in a lot of relationships that are formed. I just did a meeting, a roundtable with a lot of the leaders, and uh, it's amazing. There's a, a great camaraderie. It's really interesting. There's obviously there's competition, but there's a relationship. There's a friendship that's developed with a lot of these people. I noticed it. I don't usually see that too often. I see the opposite, actually. They want to they get each other. They want to kill each other. These guys have a great uh, feeling. Very smart people, too. Congratulations on all that you've accomplished. This room is amazing. The people in this room, high IQ individuals. I'm running against a low IQ individual, her. I'm not even talking about him, her. I got a low IQ individual. The reason I've come to address the Bitcoin community today can be summed up in two very simple words, America first. Because if we don't do it, China's going to be doing, others are going to be doing it. Let's do it and do it right. My vision is for an America that dominates the future. We have the best economy, the highest standard of living, the safest, the most beautiful cities. And by the way, when I say safest, our cities are going to hell right now. Our cities are going to hell. We're going to fix our cities. We're going to work with Democrats that have destroyed our cities, but we'll work with them and we're going to get our cities back. We're going to bring our country back. And we really were the freest and the most ambitious, most dynamic nation ever to exist on earth. And we're gonna get that back again because we're not there now. We're a nation in decline. You know it, we know it doesn't sound nice, but it's okay because we're gonna bring it back. We're gonna bring it back fast. Right now it's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing what's happened. Even today, when you look at what we just said, that would never have happened if they respected our country. If we don't embrace crypto and Bitcoin technology, China will, other countries will, they'll dominate. And we cannot let China dominate. They are making too much progress as it is. And we want them to be successful. I don't want China to be successful, but we have to be the most successful. What's gonna, what's gonna happen?
I want the United States to be first in technology, first in science, first in manufacturing, first in artificial intelligence, and first in space. You know. All right, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Truth Seeking Network. I know that was a kind of long introduction right there, but uh, I think Doc, President Donald Trump said it said it best. And um, basically, America. It's time for America to come back. In America be number one. Also, that we're going to embrace Bitcoin. And he also stated that the majority of people don't know what the heck it is. What is Bitcoin? And see, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. After watching the president, who will soon be the president of the United States, now whether you like Donald Trump or not, that's not what this, this thing is about. Okay? Bitcoin... It's been going up like he just stated for the last 15 years and it's been overtaking everything. And so far it was the ninth highest and it's going to overtake silver and gold. And possibly the world reserve uh, currency. Russia is mining it. Iran is mining it. Uh, El Salvador is mining it. Of course, and we got China is mining it. We got so many different countries out there that are mining Bitcoin right now. And the majority of people do not have a clue about Bitcoin. They think it's funny money. They think it's fake. They, you know, like um, Warren Buffett said, it's rat poison. But it's not. And the majority of people do not have a clue about what's taking place right now. And right now, as I stated in my last video, we're in a digital gold rush. And, uh, and what more do you need to see when if the president, if it makes it to the election, when both sides, Harris and Donald Trump was actually talking about crypto on both sides. What does it take for y'all to wake up to see that this is real and it's going to be the future? And right now you have an opportunity to get in. But I talk to a lot of people, right? And so a lot of people that got in before, they end up, they already got out. And now we're getting phone calls of people asking us, no, they want to get back in again. And I told them, I, I even told people this. You're gonna be you're gonna be calling me back or one day and you're gonna be trying to you're asking me to try to get back in. I said, but that's not the way to do this. Listen, y'all, the way to make money is patience. Okay, I don't care what you buy. It's the people who have patience are the people who win. When you buy an investment, I always give myself like a 10-year horizon. I say in 10 years, with this with this business. Or will this company be more make more money? Would it be greater in 10 years or would it go down? And if, if you in your heart believe that this company or whatever you buy is going to be worth more in 10 years, then isn't it smart to buy right now and put your money in it today? So that when that company or that business grows, that if you whatever how many shares you have of it. You'll, you'll grow right along with it. And also you can dollar cost average into this business or company or whatever it is you, you're investing into all the way up. But the earlier you get in, the better, right? And also you got to have patience. You know that stocks and Bitcoin is going to go up and down. And the, and the sad truth is that most people, they panic and they sell out. Now, I've done videos on this channel where, with Ann Shiver. Y'all can look it up. I think I, I forgot the name of the video myself, but it, it basically it talks about people who made money, how people, how rich people got rich. And one story was about Ann Shiver. She was a, uh, she was just an ordinary older lady, but she, what she did, she bought three sh shares of Abbott Labs. And that's it. She bought them and held those shares. Those shares made her a millionaire. Now, you got to think, the wars happened, the economies, uh, recessions happened, the stock market went up and down, all kind of, you know, things happened that she could have sold those shares. But she didn't. She held those shares. And by her holding those shares, she became a millionaire because what happened was the, 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 the shares reinvested into themselves, they gave dividends, and then they did stock splits, and then so so forth and so on, the, 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 the shares were increasing over time. And a lot of people have gotten rich to, who have bought into assets and they totally forgot about them. 
They went on about their life. They had put somebody told them to sink some shares in this company or that company. And next thing you know, boom. 10 years later, they forgot. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And they went back to go check those shares and they find out they're a millionaire. Or they have hundreds of thousands of dollars that they didn't know they had. But that's because patience and also forgetting about it is almost the same thing. Because a lot of people, you're so worried about it going up and downs and understanding the markets. You got to understand that's how markets work. And so there's people who got into Bitcoin and then they jumped out. You know, and some people jumped out way too early. I saw one post, somebody had put $30,000 into Ethereum, which is another, the second best, the largest cryptocurrency, right? They put like 30,000 in it like eight years ago. I think there's something that is worth like over $30 million now. Yes. And so what they did, they bought and they were patient. And that's what you need to do when it comes to investing is be patient. And your investments will come due for you. But you have to put that time in. You have to, um, first of all, you want to study. To make sure whatever you put your money in, make sure you understand what you're putting your money in. Make sure you know what you're buying. And that way, if you're putting your money into a company, like say you want to invest in Walmart, right? Do you go to Walmart all the time? Do you use it all the time? But most people are consumers. They don't have any money in any company. And then they fail to see the future when they're staring right in front of their face. And so like right now, Donald Trump will be the next president and cryptocurrency. Now, again, cryptocurrency is worldwide. It trades 24 seven. So Donald Trump is not the face of Bitcoin, but he's going to enhance it. Whether he was a president or not, Bitcoin was still going to be Bitcoin. It was, it was still going to advance. But right now, the world is, everybody is actually buying up the Bitcoin. And it's getting scarcer and scarcer. And the gold rush is on. The question is, most of you, as he just stated, don't know anything about it. Y'all know what the heck it is. So at least start to look up what Bitcoin is. Start to pay attention. And this is your chance to still get in. Again, you can't. You do not have to buy a full Bitcoin. Right now, today, it's trading between eighty-seven and eighty-nine thousand dollars. Now, if you've been watching my channel and listening to my videos, you'll see. Go back and watch my videos. You see how Bitcoin is progressing, and now it's eighty-nine thousand dollars as of today. But you don't need eighty thousand dollars to buy Bitcoin. You can buy fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. You can dollar cost average into it. Understand something. It's meant to go into the millions per coin. And right now, if it's only 89,000 and it projected into going to the millions, the tens of millions of dollars, then isn't it still early enough for you to get some? Okay, so we see the article status, right? It says strategic Bitcoin reserve can be done in Trump's first 100 days. U.S. Senator, and let's check this out. It says United States Senator Cynthia Loomis of Wyoming is optimistic that the strategic Bitcoin reserve could be realized quite fast under the incoming Trump administration, following former President Donald Trump's proposal to create a U.S. strategic BTC or Bitcoin reserve. Loomis introduced the Bitcoin Act at the end of July, outlining a comprehensive plan to integrate Bitcoin into the country's financial infrastructure. So y'all think about that. If they're going to put Bitcoin in, your, in the country's financial infrastructure, and there's only 21 million Bitcoin, world for, that's for everybody in the whole world, and there's over 8 to 9 billion people in the world, and you have an opportunity to buy some Bitcoin yourself, to get the real asset now yourself, then... You can see just by this article alone that the price of Bitcoin is going to skyrocket. And it's time. It's time for y'all to pay attention. Please pay attention. Because I'm trying to, I don't know what to say. 
I mean, it's not getting that many views on here, but I guarantee in the future, people are going to be wishing they have seen these videos. It says, Loomis drafted strategic Bitcoin reserve bill proposes that the establishment of a network of decentralized storage facilities across the United States to securely hold Bitcoin reserves. The bill mandates the U.S. Treasury to purchase 200,000 Bitcoin annually over five years, totaling 1 million Bitcoin, and requires the government to hold these reserves for a minimum of 20 years. It also calls for implementing a proof of reserve system to verify holdings and consolidating all Bitcoin currently held by the U.S. government into the new reserve. So I think right now they have like 213,000 Bitcoin that they confiscated from, you know, from bad players or something like that. They have them right now. So they got over 213,000 right now. But this bill is proposing that the United States, that they purchase over the next five years, 200,000 per year, which totals the 1 million Bitcoin. So, a lot of the Bitcoin is already gone. So how much Bitcoin is going to be left? But the question is, how much Bitcoin is going to be left for you, the individual? Again, you do not have to buy a full Bitcoin to become wealthy. As you can see by this alone, Bitcoin is projected to go into the millions. Will you get some? It states... The Bitcoin reserve hype is real. Today's Senator Loomis expressed confidence in the plan's feasibility, stating on X, I believe we can get this done with bipartisan support in the first hundred days if we have the support of the people. It is a game changer for the solvency of our nation. Let's put America on sound financial footing and, pay, and pass the Bitcoin Act, sound financial footing. Bitcoin is a sound asset. I don't know what more to say, but I'm going to say this. This is the Truth Seeker Network. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace till next time. And I'm out.